Hi and welcome to 3D Shapes. Just before we start, a reminder that there is a notes jotter available for this video. Check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video. So in this video, we're going to look at the properties of some 3D shapes. And the very first thing is we're just going to look at the names of some uh, 3D shapes. So the first shape here um, is um, a cube. The reason I know this is a cube is because of the faces. The faces are the flat surfaces of the shape. And in this case, I know that it is a square here, and a square here, and a square here, and a square at the back, square at the side, and square at the bottom. And so the shape of the faces, I have six squares. And in terms of faces, edges, vertices, the faces, as we've said, they are the, uh, the surfaces. Um, the edges, they are the straight lines, and the edges are what join together vertices. So vertices are the points where edges end. And so on this shape, if I were to name the vertices, well, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. We have eight vertices. The edges are the lines which join those vertices together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have twelve edges. And in terms of faces, well, we've already said there are six squares. There are six faces. The next one is very similar, but now we have a rectangle as one of the faces. And so that turns it from being a cube to a cuboid. And in this case, if I were, again, to name the vertices, well, it's just a stretched out version of the previous uh, cube. So there are four vertices on one side, four vertices at the other side. So I have eight vertices again. In terms of the edges, it's just a stretched version. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And the number of faces, well, again, the faces are the same. They're just stretched out a little bit. So we still have six. But this time, um, the shape of the faces, um, this is a little bit of a uh, dodgy area with a um, cuboid. This face here may be a square. It may be a rectangle. So all we know is that it has um, at least two rectangle faces. And that is because the others may all be square, but uh, the others be rectangles um, in order to make it. The next shapes, um, this one is a pyramid, but it is a specific type of pyramid and it comes from the shape of the base. If I look at the base, that is a square and therefore this is known as a square based pyramid. And in terms of a square based pyramid, that tells us something about the shapes of the faces. Well, it tells us it's got one square, but then how do we make the other shapes? Well, they are all triangles, and there is a triangle at each side. And so we have four triangles. If we talk about vertices this time, vertices are the points of the shape. So we've got one, two, three, four, like the corners. And we also have one right at the top. So we have five vertices. The edges are the lines which join together those vertices. So that's one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight edges. And then the number of faces, well, we have a square at the bottom and four triangles. And so we have five faces. The next shape is very similar. It is another type of uh, pyramid, but this time the base is a triangle. And if the base of a uh, pyramid is a triangle, this is actually known as a tetrahedron. Basically meaning it is made from four triangles. And so the faces, well, we've just said that there are four triangles. So that is the number of faces. The vertices, well, they are the corners. And so there are four corners. And how many edges? Well, there is one, two, three, four, 
five, six. And so we have six edges. Next, uh, we have a shape where it is a triangle at the front and it continues all the way through its length. Um, that is a prism. So if the shape remains the same throughout its length, it is a, known as a prism. This is a triangular prism because the cross section is a triangle. And so a triangular prism, well, that has two triangles as its faces, the front and the back, but then the other three faces, well, they are rectangles. And so we have two um, triangles and three rectangles. What do we have in terms of vertices? Well, we have one here, two, three, four, five, six. We have six vertices. How many edges? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And how many faces do we have? Well, we've already mentioned this. We had two triangles and three rectangles. And so we have five faces. Next, we have a different type of prism. Now, prisms technically should have a polygon or straight-sided shape as the cross-section, but this one has a circle as the, uh, as the cross-section. And this is known as a cylinder. A cylinder will have... Um, in terms of the shape of its faces, it will have two circles. And then the last one, well, the other section is the piece which goes all the way around the outside of that shape. And it may be a slight surprise, but actually, if I were to draw this, it would actually be a very long rectangle that would wrap around that shape. And so it's two circles and one rectangle that I make the faces. Now the question here is how many vertices do we have? Now vertices are the points where um, two edges meet. And actually in this cylinder, there is no point where that happens. And therefore we actually have zero vertices. How many edges do we have? Well, edges are where faces meet. And so this is actually an edge and this is an edge. We have two of them. And in terms of faces, well, we've already mentioned we have two circles and a rectangle. And so we have three faces. And our last two shapes. Um, the first one, you may recognise if it was turned upside down as something like an ice cream cone. And so that's where the name comes from. It is a cone. And in this case, uh, we are looking for faces, edges, vertices again. So faces, well, we would have the circle, which is at the bottom. And then we would have the shape which produces the outside. So we have two faces. In terms of edges, that is where two faces meet. And so the two faces meet around the outside of this circle. And so there is one edge. In terms of vertices, well, vertices are the place where edges meet. Now, we may think of this point at the top being a vertex, um, as it looks like a corner, but it does not. Uh, it is not a position where edges meet. And so vertices is again zero. The shape of the faces, well, there is definitely one circle. The other piece is quite an odd one, in fact. Um, if I were to draw it and flatten out that shape, I would have my circular base, but I would also have a shape like this. Um, so it's not, uh, this piece doesn't really have a name. It's sometimes called a sector, um, but basically that is what the shape would look like. And the last one, the last one is a three-dimensional circle. Um, it is like a football. It is known as a sphere. And a sphere is a very special type of shape. Um, because if I were to talk about its faces, well, this is just a singular face. There is just one face making the shape. Edges are where faces meet. Well, if I only have one face, I can't have edges. And vertices are the places where edges meet. If I have no edges, I have no vertices. And in terms of the shape of the faces, well, actually, we can't tell. If we were to make a sphere, we would have to build it um, in lots of different shapes. And so actually, the shape of the faces is unknown.